Are you part of a nonprofit organization, a youth group looking to raise cash for your cause? Stay tuned at the end of this video to learn how you can bring the action and excitement of the Millennium Wrestling Federation to your town live, featuring the superstars and legends of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Through the ages, across generations, we've searched to know everything. Now, our biggest questions will be answered. It's absolutely everything you need to know about WWE. From inside the ring facts to beyond the ring history, everything WWE is right here. Absolutely everything you need to know. Available now online or wherever books are sold. This is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Lorndorf. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Wrestling fans from around the corner and around the world, welcome to another installment of Wrestling Insiders from MWF Studios just north of Boston in downtown Miller's Mass in the zip code of champions 02176. The axe swung towards three WWE superstars over the weekend as Darren Young, Summer Rae, and Emma have all been released. Darren Young came as a surprise as for nothing else he never returned to television from injury, but also made an appearance at WWE night at the LA Clippers basketball game this past Saturday night promoting an upcoming WWE live event in Los Angeles. Young got a great amount of publicity coming out as gay to TMZ during SummerSlam weekend a few years back. He was a great ambassador to WWE to send out to public events. Young debuted as part of Nexus in 2010 on television. He got a great push right off the bat. We last saw Bob Backlund trying to make him great again after the brand split last summer. At a time when WWE's rosters are paper thin, it made no sense on the surface to release him unless there was some sort of an issue going on behind the scenes. A WWE could use as many fresh bodies as humanly possible. Summer Rae's release means little. Uh, she was part of a diva group that really wasn't all that skilled inside the squared circle. She wasn't over enough as a character to add value to a superstar as a valet. She danced with Fandango, collected a paycheck for several years. Now Tango's off into the sunset where hopefully life will be good to her. Emma's release was a surprise in that she looked good while competing against Asuka in her first uh, Raw televised matches last weekend. If Emma was going to be released a week later, why not have Asuka kill her at TLC and then again on Raw the next night instead of having competitive matches that weren't standout by any stretch of the imagination? Emma ran into trouble early in her WWE tenure for getting caught quote-unquote stealing from Walmart, where she was released but reinstated later the same day when she pleaded her case that it was an accident in a self-checkout counter. More recently, WWE had produced a long, long series of Emma's coming vignettes that turned into a bomb live once and was never heard from again before she just became regular Emma all over again. Behind the scenes sources said uh, Emma wasn't getting into that character so they just decided to drop it. That was not good for her. I didn't exactly get excited about Emma matches but she held her own and then some and with the women's roster on Raw that only has a half dozen active bodies at any given time, leading to seeing the same stale matches over and over and over again, you have to wonder if there's more to the story than meets the eye. Adding to that, our friend Leo Rush of WWE NXT got himself into some hot water with his peers uh, with a Twitter joke that was poorly timed, saying that's what happened when you're not ready for Asuka. He got blasted by several WWE NXT talents for the joke towards Emma coming on the heels of her release. So he went on to apologize, not only for himself, but quote-unquote, on behalf of WWE, in a poorly worded nightmare of an apology, where he looked even worse than making the joke itself. I'm biased. I love Leo. He's a good guy. He has a great heart and a love for this industry, and I hope he'll stay positive or he's getting bashed online right now. Let things calm down as he meant no harm. It was a genuine mistake. Fans, I ask you, what do you think of the releases of Darren Young, Summer Rae, and Emma? What about Leo Rush's error in judgment? As always, share your thoughts in the comment section below. Wrestling fans, I'm Dan Marotti. And I'm John Cena Sr. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to let you know how the action and excitement of the Millennium Wrestling Federation can come to your city live 
to help raise cash for your nonprofit cause. Experience the action and excitement of the Millennium Wrestling Federation live in your city throughout New England, the tri-state area, down through the Carolinas, out to our friends in the Midwest and beyond. If your nonprofit organization is looking for an interactive turnkey experience while putting the fun into fundraising, you've met the perfect tag team partner to work with every step of the way. The MWF offers a variety of packages for groups of almost any size, from our live events at the Boston Garden, the Kowloon Entertainment Dining Complex, and the legendary Suffolk Downs, to high school gyms and function halls, we've presented live events everywhere and anywhere. Since 2001, the MWF's mission has been simple. Keep the kids off the streets. Under the leadership of President David Reese, we bring the superstars of yesterday, today and tomorrow, to your town. Not for a wrestling show, but an event that features action-packed in-ring wrestling, autograph, pose photo opportunities, Q&A sessions, and so much more. It's the best of sports and entertainment. The week of your event, we can add on to the endeavor with anti-bullying campaigns, library meet and greet reads, youth sport concussion seminars, and more. Our live events are fit for fans of any age from 5 to 95. This fall is part of our new Kids Club program. We offer live event experiences exclusively for the youngest of fans. On the flip side, we can produce a tailor-made event for fans of an older demographic as well. We work with you every step of the way to get the word out to fans near and far on our local television offerings and to over 50,000 fans and growing on our social media platforms. Your success is our success. If your group has had enough of candy bar and wrapping paper sales and has the energy to team with our passionate fan base, bringing the NWF experience to your community is the answer to put smiles on faces while raising cash for your cause. Contact us today to get the ball rolling for your custom-made event that you'll want to bring back year after year to your community. Don't just take it from us. Here are the folks we've teamed up with in the past. 